it's always a great challenge and fun to play against young talents at the Chess Base India Chess Club. Playing with the white pieces, I open the game with knight f3, d5 and play my pawn up to c4. Now black can respond with d4, d takes c4 but he goes for the slough setup and now we are transposed fully into the slough. Knight to f6, knight c3. My opponent is a very talented youngster. He's just 8 years old I believe and he's now thinking for his move. The main moves are dc4 and e6 but he plays bishop f5. Now this is a mistake. It's a small opening mistake and now at least he should take with the knight. He takes with the pawn and I know that this is not good. I have played this before. It's a typical error. And the way in which you can remember is that when white has put both his knights out here, bishop f5 is a mistake. Now what has happened is that I have attacked the b7 pawn. He plays his queen to c7. Even if you play b6, it weakens the light squares terribly. Bishop f4, nice move. Because if you take on f4, I take on b7 and your rook is lost so this is a very nice little move attacking the queen if you play queen b6 i'm planning to take the pawn on d5 also possible is to just take take and play e3 when white has a very solid edge here so my opponent is thinking for his move after bishop f4 and just to finish my point if here instead of this i play e3 then there's no pressure on d5 and bishop f5 is one of the main lines. But when I play knight c3, then you shouldn't play bishop f5 here. That would be a bad opening mistake. So queen d7 played. Now here I missed the opportunity to take, take and play e4. Because it hits the bishop and bishop b5 wins the queen. Uh, it didn't pass my mind. Uh, I saw e4. But then after e4, I saw that if I play bishop b5, knight c6 comes. Uh, but what I chose is also very strong. Uh, now I'm planning to play my knight up to e5. You can see how things have become very, very drastic for black right out of the opening. Firstly, I developed my bishop with a tempo. Next up, I want to get my knight in. So the knight jumps to e5, attacking the queen. Uh, where should the queen go to now? Because if you look at it carefully, my threat is to play e4. And from there, if you take with the pawn, f7 pawn is hanging. So that's very dangerous. And if you try to come up to e6, then b7 is hanging. So he goes back to c8, which seems like a natural move. Now, because I've analyzed these similar positions uh, in the past, I know that e4 is a very typical idea and I go for it. e4, nice little move. The main idea is to open up the bishop. Also, I want to sort of lure the bishop forward. As mentioned, you can't take with the pawn because f7 is hanging. So that's the reason why you have to take on e4 with a piece. And, and maybe taking with the knight or the bishop is, is possible. But already... Uh, it's it's a very difficult situation. Imagine that he takes here with the knight. He takes with the bishop, by the way. He takes this pawn. And now, bishop b5 check definitely seems like a good idea. Also, I can take with the knight. Knight takes e4. And put my rook on c1. When the rook is very well positioned here with the defense of the bishop. So, firstly, I take on e4. Here, knight takes e4 has happened. And my opponent, of course, cannot take back with the pawn. As we just discussed, f7 is hanging. And so he must take with the knight. Time-wise, it's a 5 minute plus no, no increment. So I have 3 minutes 27 seconds. My opponent has 2 minutes 24 seconds. He takes on e4 with the knight. And now in comes a check. He must go knight c6. There's no other option. Uh, all, what I like about this youngster is that he takes his time before making his moves. Even though his move is kind of forced here, he can't do much. He's thinking and this is something which is an important trait. At some point uh, when you are playing, you don't want to be blitzing out all your moves. You want to think and then come out with the best move in the position. It's a different matter that this position is very difficult for the time being. But this habit will eventually help him. Now, after check, 
you you go knight c6 and here i have an option actually rook c1 is a very strong move because i am attacking a pinned piece even further he goes knight c6 but the move that i had in mind was queen takes d5 and yes i take it queen takes d5 now i'm attacking f7 attacking c6 he goes back knight to d6 very nice move because with this he's attacking here now i wanted to take on c6 my point was if you take bc6 i want to take bishop c6 and win material but after knight takes d5 i can't find a clear blow so my time is right now three minutes and i'm trying to figure out what to do a very good idea could be rook c1 but once again after knight b5 i was not so sure but look after take king d8 here check knight d6 i can take knight c6 pawn takes and rook takes and after this wherever he goes my threat is rook d6 and picking up this rook so if you play queen b8 then at the very least i can castle and look at these pieces they are terrible and my rook can just join into the attack so this was definitely a possible idea to just bring rook c1 i was actually trying to make knight f7 work but after take take bishop c4 it is not possible there is e6 and black is a piece up the other moves that are possible here are bishop c6 b takes c6 and just knight takes f3 uh, knight takes c6 e6 and queen goes back maybe it's also better but i didn't like it i wanted a finishing shot you you can see there in the background a lot of people coming in and watching the games this happens in a mall so the the chess club is frequented by a lot of people who visit the phoenix market city mall now i'm down to 1 minute 33 seconds sometimes it happens you are unable to find a finishing blow by the way a very good move here is bishop a4 maintaining the pin not at all an easy move and it takes a lot of time uh, you see i want to take there on c6 but yeah and the thing is after take take even if i play knight e5 trying to attack f7 and b5 he can simply drop back his knight and defend it so it's not so simple and after almost 2 minutes of thought i go bishop a4 which is perhaps the best move in the position apart from rook c1 so i'm quite happy that i found this backward move and now the threat is to take take and take here which is pretty strong but making a backward move is never an easy task uh, and that's the reason why it took me so much time i'm down to 56 seconds took me more th more than almost 2 minutes to figure that out and now my opponent has a minute and he i mean his moves are e6 is a sure shot improvement in his position but still how do you get rid of this pin b5 i like this move because now he's breaking the pin if if i move my bishop away somewhere then he just takes on d4 and in fact black is the one who's better so clearly i can't do that uh, the best move now is to just take on uh, c6 you can also try and win a pawn here this way but but more important than a pawn is the tempo and so knight takes c6 makes a lot of sense yes knight takes c6 taken and he takes on a4 time wise i have 26 seconds but now my position is completely winning i'm materially not ahead but my rook is coming here the other rook can come here i can open up the center he can't develop easily because after knight e7 king e7 bishop d6 king d6 the king is completely exposed and this is a totally winning position so he can't develop much he's thinking a lot and uh, the position is very very difficult he goes g6 he wants to develop his bishop here but there's no time you you put your bishop here you lose your knight and so after rook c1 uh, it's a very interesting case that the material is equal but the position is totally lost psychologically you might feel oh you've not made the best use of your advantage but it's not the case in fact white is doing very well threats like bishop e5 also taking here are all going to win for for white and my opponent loses on time here um but a very instructive opening mistake i analyzed with him after the game 
tell him about it he also shows me some lines which is always very nice uh, but bishop f5 is an opening error which you should avoid for sure try to go e6 or d takes c4 for now this is sagar shah signing off bye bye